Hello everyone and welcome back to Crystal Nuzlocke with Aqua. I am Aqua, as you may have guessed because you are on my channel watching my videos. And I hope you enjoy. Alright, so, we've got stuff to take care of. I promised you a new Pokemon, and I will deliver. Let's see what this tall grass has in store for us. Come on, cool Pokemon. Charizard. I want a Charizard here. Oh, a Bellsprout. Not bad, not bad. I could use a grass Pokemon. We actually have a very diverse team already. I'm pretty impressed. We've gotten pretty lucky Pokemon right at the start here. Oh, Vine Whip. Okay, that only did two damage. Alright, fortunately these early on Pokemon aren't really that dangerous, so I've been pretty not scared of dying so far. As soon as we start battling some real trainers and some gym leaders though, stuff can get pretty dangerous. Alright, so, yeah, if I add this to the team, that evolves into a, uh, whatever it's called. Bellsprout, uh, what is, I can picture the two Pokemon it evolves into. What are they called? Victory Bell, yes. Alright, I want myself a Victory Bell. So. Let's get you captured, Bellsprout. You are the first step. One, two, three, and captured. Ha. Huh. No resisting. Bellsprout's data was newly added to the Pokedex. If it notices anything that moves, it immediately flings its vine at the object. Anything that moves. Wow, that sounds dangerous. Of course. Uh, Vic... Tori... Victorp. <laughs> I did not mean to hit that. I meant to go down and hit Y. I was going to name it Victory something. But you know what? Victorp works just well for me. Works just well? That doesn't make any sense. Continue. Alright. Welcome to the team, Victorp. <laughs> That's funny. I found a Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Well, he sounds like an awesome guy. What an awesome name. Who are you? Hi there, did you visit Sprout Tower? I haven't even been in the city yet, man. Chill out. Well, wait, were you trying to get my number? Oh, no. You weren't saying anything like that. How paranoid of me. Alright. Ooh, I like this town's music. Good evening, you're out late. You're out late. Shut up. Just heal them. I don't care about you. One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, we're building quite the team here. Alright, our Pokemon are fully healed. Did you do anything? It was around three years... Team Rocket. Some kid broke him up. Wow, what a hero. Well, let's see. This is a very Japan-themed town. Nothing wrong with that. I assume this is a fabled... Sprout Tower I've heard so much about, from that guard outside the town. Hmm. Are we good enough to go there yet? Here's a gym as well. I imagine it's not a good idea to do this yet. My Pokemon kinda suck. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you can championship dream come true, you believe? Then listen, this grass type is weak against flying type. Ha, <laughs> thanks. Uh, we don't keep lame grass die Pokemon on our team. Except Victorp here. Poor Victorp. You're gonna be worthless against Faulkner. Did you even think about that? No, of course not. Alright, we have $200. Well, that's good for one Pokeball. Yes! Poke dollars. We are rich. We now have 76. Just enough to have enough food to survive. What is over this way? I'm just gonna leave this town immediately. I, apparently I can. Ruins of Alf, north, ent north entrance. Oh, good thing that guy wasn't a trainer. That could have been bad. Here's a uh, pseudo widow. I'm not allowed to catch that pseudo widow. Well, it's not a legendary Pokemon. If, and it's not given to me for free. Yeah, if that's the first Pokemon I battle on this route, then I can catch it, so avoid that grass. Yeah. 
Yeah, cool. I might catch that Sudowoodo in the future. Not sure. I'm just exploring. Did you see that strange tree in the road? It may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. Yes, it may, because I can't even go there. Here are the ruins of Alf. I am not supposed to be over here yet. I'm afraid some dangerous trainer is going to ambush me and kill all my Pokemon. That would be tragic. Ruins of Alf Research Center. This is where you catch, like, unknowns. The most worthless Pokemon ever. Ruins of Alf are 1,500 years old. No one knows why they were built or by whom. Come here, glasses guy. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. They must be keys from unraveling the mystery of the ruins. You said ruins twice in the same sentence. That's not eloquent. What is happening here? Wow. Game, you just slowed down significantly for five seconds. All right, it appears it appears okay, but this music is creepy, and I don't care for it. Let's head back to where we're actually supposed to be. This city, Violet City. All right, there should be plenty of stuff to do here. Who are you? Saw a wiggly tree up ahead. Great. All right. She uses the names of her favorite things to eat. For the next name she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. Wow. Really? I call my Pidgey Strawberry. So I imagine this is Strawberry the Pidgey. Pidgey. Wow, can't even say your own name. Pathetic. I'm going to Sprout Tower. I don't care how bad my Pokemon suck. The best way to get better is to fight stuff. That is true in real life and in Pokemon. Everyone will think you're a better person if you just fight everything. Alright, what is down here? Ooh, Berry Tree. Paralyzed Cure Berry. Cool. And then down here. What is down here? Ruins of Alf East Entrance. Wow, I cannot get away from these Ruins of Alf. Violet City to Azalea Town. This guy has bird Pokemon, if I remember correctly. I don't really care, though, because the uh, gym leader over here also has bird Pokemon, so no shortage of that going around. Who are you? Hello, you're a trainer. Battle gym leader, when you did. Of course I did. Very nice, indeed. Is that all you wanted? What is the point of you? Maybe you do something after I actually do defeat the gym leader. I'll be ready for prime time? Yeah, it only takes like level 10 Pokemon to beat your gym leader. I wouldn't be so excited. Alright. What's going on here? See that pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. You know, this thing doesn't really look like a pillar to me. Like, I just can't see it. I don't know why. It always looks like a uh, classic Game Boy or something, just shaking around. I don't know if anyone else sees it like that. With the black part being the screen. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Oh, so I get an HM in here? Cool. Your pillar's shaking pretty crazily. Oh, there are Pokemon in here. What is this? I can catch this. Ghastly. Yes, please. Let's add you to the team. And thankfully, I have my, like, one Pokemon out that can actually hit this. Hypnosis! No! Alright, well, I'm just gonna start throwing Pokeballs, then. Bubble is the only attack on my entire team, I believe, that can actually attack this Ghastly. So, with Poliwhirl asleep, I can't really do anything. No, Ghastly! How dare you defy me! Yeah, just keep using Hypnosis. Eventually, I will wake up. Maybe he doesn't have any attacks. I wouldn't be surprised. He's only level 4. Come on, wake up, Poliwhirl! But if that is the case, and he only has Hypnosis, as soon as I do wake up, he's just gonna put me to sleep again. Yeah, bubble him! Shoot some bubbles at that ghost. What a... What an absurd world we live in. Oh, he does have Lick. Not bad. So you can fight. That'll make this more interesting. Shoot some bubbles at that ghost more and more as it licks us. I'm having a tadpole shoot bubbles at a ghost while it licks it. Absurd. Oh, and my tadpole is paralyzed. Whatever. Let's keep on going. This is going to be an awesome Pokemon. We are just finding Pokemon all over the place. 
Bubble it up. Keep hitting it with bubbles. Eventually it will pass out from the sheer terror. Alright, no critical hit. There we go. Alright, we are safe-ish now. Ghastly speed keeps falling, that is beneficial. Let's switch out for Rock Tour, our brick wall Pokemon. Why don't you try to lick this rock, see how well that works for you. I predict one damage. Oh, two! How impressive! And you paralyzed a rock somehow. You'd think rocks would be kind of paralyzed by default. Alright, now we should be able to catch this thing. Pokeball number two, let's get this. Ghastly, you're mine! How can a ghost have a gender, by the way? Whatever. No! It was so close to. It licks my rock again! We better get this! Oh, having a Ghastly would be so awesome. Come on, just give up! You're so hurt! How are you still fighting? One, two, three? Captured, yes! Ghastly! We did it! Give a nickname to the Ghastly? His... She didn't ask me that yet. It wraps its opponent in its gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. That is brutal! Hmm, what should I call you? You already have a Gengar sprite. That's interesting. Hmm. Your name will be... Haunt. I like giving them kind of a name that has to do with their name, but different. But then I turn it into an actual name. Haunt S. Hauntus. You are a nickname. Er, yes, you are a nickname. That makes sense. It's late. I am tired. I am stupid. All right. This ghastly is a female, so when it is a haunter and a Gengar and it is haunting stuff, it will be the Hauntus. Can't, I like that name. I came up with it completely on accident. Thank you. All right, though. That is our one Sprout Tower Pokemon we are allowed to have. So let's heal up Poliwhirl. And heal its Paralysis. Yes. Terrific. All right. Cool. So, that is going to be the end of this part, though. In the next episode, we will start battling the trainers in this tower. And collecting items like that one on the left. All kinds of exciting things, so stay tuned and find out what the first Pokemon to die will be. We've done well so far, but I guarantee you some of these Pokemon will die along our adventure. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> I will see you next time. Oh. Or not, or not. This guy just randomly decided to fight me. This episode's running long. Let's handle this guy first. Sage Nico would like to battle. He sent out Bellsprout. Ugh. Poliworld really doesn't like Bellsprouts. The question is, does this thing have Vine Whip? I don't think one Vine Whip should be able to take out Poliworld, so I'll find out. Wow, that did nothing at all. Well, and it does have Vine Whip. Mystery solved. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, good thing that wasn't a critical hit. That almost actually took out Poliworld. Let's send in Hootie, who could really use Peck or Gust right now. We need a flying type attack, but at least it can resist these Vine Whips. One damage. Hootie laughs at you. Tackle. There you go. That's some real damage. Good job, Hootie. Take out these Bell Sprouts. I do find it kind of odd that an entire tower is devoted to Bell Sprouts. That's kind of strange. And also, why is the tower haunted by Ghastlies? Kind of strange stuff, but whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. That's not my place. Alright, and the shift battle style is off, so I can't send out Poliworld again and get some free experience. So I think I'm just going to take all this stuff out with Hootie. That seems to be the best course of action. Because Hootie's got a massive type advantage. Just keep going. Alright, one more and this Sprout Tower will be defeated. Well, no it won't. <laughs> this single Bell Sprout will be though. Wow, massive experience for, for Hootie. Good job. One more Bell Sprout. 
Let's get it. You could really use a flying attack right now. Hopefully you will get one eventually. They just keep using Vine Whip. Wow, that was a critical hit. Hootie laughs at you. Once again. It's pathetic. I think the next offensive attack that Hootie learns, though, is going to be, uh... Future Sight. Or Foresight. Or something. So, yeah. I don't think it gets any flying type moves for a while. It could really use one, though. Level 6, though. Yes, Foresight. Wow. Look at my Foresight calling that in advance. Haha. <laughs> Amazing. What a great pun. That is how I'm going to end this episode, with my awesome pun I just made. Look at that Game Boy just floating back and forth in the middle. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.